Hey YouTube, what's up? Dr. T here and welcome to the Altcoin Express and my hometown St. Petersburg, Florida, where we target turning 23,000 of Ethereum into a cool million in under five years trading altcoins on the Bitcoin exchange. Currently, Ontology and Ardano are in juxtaposition, meaning one is peaking while the other one's troughing, and they're a good respective for sell buys in respective situations. So I wanted to kind of take a look at the overall picture and developed a time series relative comparison of the two. So this is a blown up on two hours of the ontology um, time frame of its price increases. I've taken a variety of points along this, this axis and at equivalent time points I've taken the same for Cardano. Well, you have to blow this up a little bit. It only extends back to the 14th, as far as Cardano is concerned. What came before that is an irrelevancy. <coughs> so I've taken comparable time points with, in some cases they've been centered, in some cases highs and lows. Um, and I've put these on a spreadsheet and I've made them all relative to the Cardano current low. You can go in close to that. So the Cardano current low, actually, I had to reposition it as it's, where's my line? It's over here. Now that's the bottom of the, of the pit. So putting those two as a relative and using a multiplier, we can compare the backward and forward going situation. So these are now on a spreadsheet and that's very bright. Let's take that down a bit. So these are the data points. That's the multiplier. That's Cardano's low. That's the current that's ontology's low. That's the current Cardano value at that time point times its multiplier here to get it to the same point. Everything else is multiplied in comparison to this. And it takes it back. These are not linear time points. They're just time points. Sometimes they're by days, sometimes they're by time points, but they, all of these data points are come from the exact time point on the same day. Plot those and we get this chart. And we see some interesting, interesting situations where Cardano is going up and ontology, get the names right, ontology is going up and Cardano is not specifically going up. Interestingly, there is a valley in Cardano and a peak on Ontology. And if you're carefully watching what these are doing and recognize them for what they're worth, there is a respective sell off and buy. And lo and behold, um, Cardano peaks at about the time Ontology troughs. And then we go off to the current high, where if one is smart enough to kind of recognize this and get off, we can see that Cardano is Keep, sorry about getting the names all mixed up. Ontology is coming down over quite a few days to reach its current low while Cardano is on a rise and its rise is due to kind of come down. So once again, although these are the same, they're set because of the relative nature of, of wanting to plot them on a relative basis because as Ontology now goes up, we should see Cardano come down and we should see this separation between them. And when Cardano, oh, I'm going to kill you. When Ontology peaks and presumably Cardano troughs, there is another respective sellover for maximum opportunity of buy sells. So let's just go back into the charts themselves and put some light on the situation. A little bit of light. So here we have, um, let's blow that up a little bit. See, it's coming down from its relative peak. And we can have a look at Ardeno's climb over that same period. And there's its climb over the same period. So big, big possibilities for gains here. You're 
going up on this and presumably you've got off on the other one like I did the other day recognize this I sold off on the one and bought on the other it dumped off further and this peaked which was unfortunate the minute I sold off the one went down the other one up I mean it's just the way of things but the fact that there is this current timely juxtaposition offers an advantage if it holds up somewhere in the future to uh, follow Cardano's and Ontology's current price lines uh, depending on how much this sells off and how much that gains and where they go there afterwards one can make a um, informed decision as to which to be on or what proportion to be on or whatever but there is an opportunity there so I thought I'd share that information with you because it's very powerful.